Hi, this is Gail and welcome to my channel. Pardon my fingers, I've been dyeing uh, paper blue and I've almost got all the dye off, but still a little remnant or two. Okay, so today I'm here to talk about my altered book. And I'm following along with the prompts from Martha Managross and uh, Free Spirit and... I have, as they wanted for this prompt, I have gotten together some packaging from the kitchen. And so, uh, uh, let me show you. This is from a macaroni box, so each piece I'll show you. And I loved the window, of course, as we all love windows. And I'm trying to get rid of that shadow but just not sure it's going to happen. Anyhow, so I did gather some things together and do some pre, pre uh, some preparations in advance to save a little time because it took forever. I used a macaroni box, a brownie box, a Philadelphia cream cheese box, and then you'll see I came across a box that was from some tape, book binding tape, actually. And I thought that might make a kind of neat flippy floppy thing. So I thought I'd play with that at the very end. So I want to get to that, and I can't get to that till we get to the others. So um, this, this is a pocket. I have pre-cut the paper. I have done my little thumb notch, and I have distressed it. This is part of the paper. This was not. I set it down to look at it, and it stuck. And so I was like, well, I don't want to pull it up, because I don't know what might happen when I do so. So for right now, I'm going to finish gluing it down here. Yeah, I say that, but my glue isn't going to work, is it? I did go online, by the way, speaking of glue. And I priced the fine line uh, red top glue with the art glitter glue and the barely art glue. And I found that this glue is actually cheaper. So I did go ahead and order some. Now, apparently, this glue does not have any restrictions when it comes to purchasing it and mailing it in the cold weather like our glitter glue does. So that alone is a plus. So, of course, the only issue now is can I get it out of the bottle? So I'm going to try one more thing here, and if that doesn't work, then I think what I'll do is just switch over to my Fabri-Tac, because I need to use Fabri-Tac later on to glue something. So it might be that whatever the glob is that this is stuck is further down, and I can't get to it. So. I'm just going to let that go for right now and come back to it. Okay. So, our glitter glue. <laughs> uh, the red line is, or, yeah, the fine line red top is cheaper than the art glitter. Okay, so here we are. Good old Fabri-Tac. Clopped that on for sure. Don't like that, but hey, tis what it tis. Alrighty. Ugh, I hate that feel of the glue. Yucky. Okay, so I have this cute little picture to go up here in the corner because it sort of reminded me of um, a stamp. So I'll put, and I've already distressed it. So I'll put that up there in the corner. And 
I have this little picture. I kind of liked how that sticks up out of the corner. So I'm going to slide. I save it. And yes, I am going to slide it up under. Yeah. And put it in like that. And you know, I'm just going to leave it there. And I've got some glue on my finger. And I am just going to stick that down like that. And as it is, I got too much glue. Yeah. Just full of glue right now, apparently. Okay, so now, since I have some on my finger, I'm going to get rid of it on here. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that piece on top of here. Hope everybody is doing well. It's very cold. It went down almost to single digits last night. But it's very sunny. And I don't care. Anything else can be going on. But if the sun is out, it just feels so hopeful. Like, yay, someday spring's going to be here. So... Yeah. So this pocket, and this is all in the paper. This isn't any collage or anything I did. It was all part of the paper. So what I've been doing is going downstairs to my other craft room and pulling up paper pads. And this is from a 6x6. Six and really, 6x6 six six paper pads are perfect for doing pockets and belly bands and tags because prompt, I think it's number three, is to make three pockets, three tags, and three belly bands out of packaging, which is what I have done. Okay, so... I have gotten everything together for this again. I cut it and I um, distressed it and yeah, and you can see Green Giant. Funny story about that. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, trying to um, cut this paper, this this packaging, I kept smelling something. I'm like, oh my god, is the cat in here? What is that odor? Well, then it dawned on me, hello, broccoli. And even though it's a frozen, it was a frozen food package, and it was in the pouch, the odor apparently lingered a tad. So once I figured out what it was, I was like, okay. And then sprayed a little Lysol to give it a little better aroma. So I'm hoping it's not going to stink in my, uh, in, in my journal. <laughs> but what can I say? Stuff happens. Oh, and this goes on the tag because it's going to show through the window. If I do it right, right? See, and here's my little paper clips. You notice I do try to curl the ends so they don't stick. Okay, so now I have to put this on. And I have to be careful. Ugh. The Fabri-Tac glob. Oopsie. Okay, I'm going to do that part first. Slip it down in there in place. And I was lucky enough, one of the pieces of paper in this pad had this cute little lined paper. And I thought, perfect for the back of the journaling card. In fact, these journaling cards, I think, I did not do anything else to decorate them really, because I think it would be cool 
uh, to be able to use the whole thing to do journaling because I do write in mine and somehow I managed to say kind of a lot. So, put a little pocket on the back too. I had that extra of the paper and rather than cut it off I thought oh flip it up make it a pocket and then you can put in a little tag like that and it says gratitude is the heart's memory now this I did not distress so I'm gonna do that real quick before I put it in there Voila! So that part is done. And the other thing I thought that might look kind of cute is to just use that as, as my pull. But which way do I want to do it? I think I'll put those long ones up there for me to grab on if I want to grab on something. Okay, can't hardly see if there's glue on there because I try not to have a light on, but then I'm so blind I cannot hardly see. And I think I actually glued that there. I glued it right, I just didn't hold it down properly. So uh, one of my goals this year is to use up some of those crafting items that I haven't used in forever. So this is some of that. Okay. Now I have to see where I want to cut that off. Okay, now we know that when you put that down in a pocket, it is not going to sit all the way down in there. So I think that needs to come down just a hair, like maybe there. Okay, then do I cut that cutie off? and just do like that. I think I do because you're not going to see it. And then I have two cute little flowers to use up at a later point. Okay, so I'm going to see that's going to be right along. What is that? One, two, three, four, the fifth line. Right? Let's make sure. Yep, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, right here. And above, just a little. Okie dokie. And I forgot I had cut it off, but that's okay. Alrighty. So, let's see how that's going to look. Yeah, that's cute. Don't you think? I think that's cute. Okay, so, oopsie. Better clip it together just to be safe until I get it put away. So, Ooh, it's magnetic and it picked up a pen. Okay, there's that. Alrighty, here's my other pocket, which, as you see, more of the macaroni container. So let's 
glue that down. I figured if I saved time this way, I would have more time at the end to work on that flippity floppity idea that I have. And um, if not, I'll just start another video um, and finish it up that way. Okay. And again, this paper, I did cut it. I did distress it. And I didn't mean to stick this down, but I was auditioning it. And, oh yeah, it stuck. Normally, there's not enough stick. You know, not enough to keep it glued down. I thought, oh, I'll just set it on there. Yeah, well, <laughs> set it on there, glued it on there. So it had to be good no matter how it looked. So I put a little cheese, I had put a little cheesecloth underneath it. I've distressed this again. This is the design that's in there. So the uh, only other thing I thought this needed, and these are both distressed, is maybe this and this. So here we go. Another big glob. Yuck. Yuck. Ugh. Just got to thinking I should put a little, oopsie, put a little bling on that. That would be cute. Maybe a little pearl to go with that, but I'll look for that later if you guys don't mind. That'll save time if I go through and hunt right now. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So, and that's a pocket so it doesn't have anything on the back. And then the next two tags are pretty much identical. And again, I want them to be used for writing. And again, more of the green giant here. That's the only thing about using some of the packaging. I tried to find some that was pretty thin because the packaging adds bulk. But it does upcycle, so that's good. So we'll take it. And I did distress that. I love the little truck with the flowers. So in my botanical journal, I thought these worked perfectly. Now Martha goes through and then she places everything that she made in her altered book. I kind of can't do that because I'm not as flexible as her. I like plan out every page, the theme, the color scheme, and even though, yes, the main theme is botanical, well, it kind of does have, you know, some more going on than just that, so, yeah. But I will be using these. So, and just going to put this up here in the center as my pull tab. I just thought that added a little something, something. Okay, and so then this 
will go in here. Alrighty, so that's tag M pocket two. Really would like to keep my videos to 30 minutes or under, but again, I don't know if it's going to happen. More of, I had two packages of the broccoli and cauliflower. There's a really good casserole that I came across, and um, it's actually a low-cal, low-sodium, and um, it's using, well, I use two packages of frozen broccoli and cauliflower with cheese and rice. And then to that, you add a package, an 8-ounce package of cream cheese, a half a cup of, well, I use Miracle Whip. Some people would use a mayo. Add some extra cheese. They call for two cups, but we've kind of found two cups is almost too much. And, um, and then you add, I add, uh, they added regular sausage. I've added turkey sausage. You know, that Eckrich turkey sausage kielbasa. And so chop that up in little, little uh, slices or pieces and put that in and bake it at 350. I bake it for about 30 minutes. Oh, and top it with some Parmesan cheese and uh, makes a meal all in and of itself, healthy and tasty. So, yeah, enjoy that recipe because I'm not really all that creative when it comes to cooking. Although I did decide that it just needed a nice dessert with it, so I made brownies for my son and I to go with it. Just a little pick-me-up I thought we could use, you know? So. Oopsie. Okay. Was the sweet deal. Nope. <laughs> I was right the first time. Ugh, I hate that stuff on my hands. Mm. Alrighty. Okay, so there's our tag number three, but we won't get to the pocket for a minute. Okay. Yay. Okay, put that off to the side. Now I have belly bands, and what I did was I have two belly bands that stand upright, and then I have one that goes across the page. So, now this one is made from the macaroni container, and then this lovely paper feels almost, it has a texture to it, it almost feels like wallpaper, and uh, again, that's from an older paper pad that I had. It wasn't a 6x6, six six, however, but um, it's really pretty paper. I've had it, I hoarded it, and then I'm like, use it, use it before it becomes to where you don't want to use it anymore, and it's a waste of money. So, and I, so I pre-cut this, and I distressed it for my belly band. Usually I really bling up my belly bands, but... I think, you know, I'll start with what I have here, and then when I go to put this in my book, who knows, maybe I will change it up a little bit. I don't know. I might add more to it, and I might not. Now, these little strips, 
I have had forever. They do have a little bit of blingy twinkle on them of some sort, and they are like um, plasticky, sort of like a transparency. So I'm not sure how well they are going to stick, and I thought that it might be cool if I leave this open so you can also use the top part as a little tuck. So that's what I am going to attempt to do. Cut it off. Save that bit because that's so pretty. And I'm just going to glue at the top and at the bottom. So... This is the one thing that I thought having Fabri-Tac for would be necessary because I don't know how well this will stick to that fine that uh, fine line glue. Okay, so we shall see. I just don't know for sure. You know, sometimes with something that's that plasticized, it's hard to get it to stick. So, had enough sitting there that I think I could use that down here. Okay. I can see a little weight here. I don't like that. There. Cover that up. Okay, so you have the tuck behind when it's on the page, and then you'll have the tuck here, so that'll be cool. Okay, belly band one. And here is belly band two. This is more of my macaroni. Pre-cut the paper, pre-planned it. I really spend a lot of time in the planning and the hunting and the deciding, the decorating portion, and I know nobody wants to sit through that. So, those on there. And now, this lace is some that I got from Spectrum Art when she had a sale, and it is the softest, and it's stretchy. So again, I thought, well, let's make this also only glued at the top and bottom so you can tuck behind it. And also, then I thought it could use a little ribbon. So I'm going to do that off over here and then glue the top and the bottom on here. I don't want to take a chance that it sticks to the side. So... Let's do this. Just trying to smooth that out some. Don't really want that much. Okay. Okay. And I would more than likely sew this if I wasn't doing this on camera. But it's fine to just glue. You don't have to sew. Same way with the pockets. It, to me, just gives a little more finished look. But since I'm doing it 
on camera and that ribbon looks short to me so I hope it's not <laughs> okay now we need to just glue at the top and at the bottom okay good it's just this probably stretched out some okay so top and bottom and then I'll put the little flowers on it and this will be done now I could have chosen to put this all the way over to one side but I felt like I wanted it in the center so I didn't do that but it would have looked fine doing that as well okay now we want to put a little up here alrighty Okay, and now I just thought we'd put these little flowers kind of just right in the center sort of just eyeballing it not necessary to to make everything perfect and to take time to measure yes this spot is from my lovely cat Diablo he sort of punctured it with his tooth he gets to play in any place too rough sometimes but gotta love him okay so oopsie I thought we were getting stuck down there okay so there's belly band number two now this one I need to cut off. If this is my page, those two went up and down. This one's going to go across. And I think what I'm going to do is, oopsie, a bunch of stuff just fell on my lap that I have sitting here for my next project so I'm going to reach down and get that real quickly okay here we go now so I want to cut that off and get rid of this tapered part so Get my big scissors here caught up in some thread okay we'll do that we'll get rid of that and now don't want it all the way in and okay save those pieces you never know what you might need okay how does that look looks okay so but I need to distress and I'm using my vintage photo You 
can tell. These I have not used. This was brand new when I started it just earlier today. And it looks like it's already done some dry rotting and falling apart. Not a good. So. Okay. And this one, again, is a pretty quick and easy one, too, because this uh, these borders that I had, and it also has a little bit of bling. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, it works on the botanical because it's a combination of birds and flowers. So... Oh, how do I cut this? Let's start at this end and see if it's any easier to decide. Oh, well, I could cut off part of a bird, but I don't want to do that. Well, over here it's part of a flower if I go this way, or I just move it there to there. And maybe cut off part of the flower at that end. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Ugh. Okay. All right, so whether this hangs over or not, a little bit on our page, it's fine. Doesn't matter. It's just a bendy bend. But again, I'm only going to glue it on the end. Okay. And I have a bunch of icky glue sitting on there. Ugh, just ick. Okay, let's see if we can get this done. And then we can move on to the next part. Okay, there we go. It's kind of hard to get it because the birds and the flowers aren't all at equal spaces. Okay, so third belly band. Dun, dun 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 Okay, so now let's take a look at what we have going on here. So, I've already pre-cut this and distressed. What I have is it goes that way and that way, and then this flips up inside, okay? So you have a flippy here, flippy on this that I'll attach, 
And then you have a flippy over here. So, the first thing is, let's glue our pieces on. And then maybe it'll become easier to see what to do. Because I really wanted to do it, because I couldn't visualize it all the way. But I pretty much had to get the glue on it and the paper to see how we proceed, you know? It's one of those things. Okay, and I'm not going to do that flippy thing just yet. First, I want to get this done. So... about that red show in there because it's going to be covered up. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Here we go. I cut this piece that's going to go on the inside just a little bit shorter um, because I found that it was pushing the paper out of being in alignment otherwise. So. Let's see, where's my little band folder? That's the only thing because these are cardboard. They are adding some bulk, but... Okay, so this, I want it also to be a pocket through here, this way, so the only place it's going to be glued is right on that flap. So, let's get that in order. And I see, maybe I'm going to have an issue there, we'll see. So I think maybe this way is the way to do it. So I see what I'm doing here. And I want to come down on. Right in there. Yeah. Cover that up. Now, come over here, and I just want to glue the bottom right like that. Okay. Oopsie. <laughs> So, I'm trying to ease this into folding in. This goes over here like so and bends like that. 
Okay, this one bends like, or is it the other way? Oops, the other way. Okay, so this one goes back and bends like that. This one comes in and bends like that. But first, this comes up. And this bends over, and I was afraid of that. I think I need to cut away a sliver on either side. Right? Then I'm going to have to re-ink that. But I wondered if it still needed a little gone to make it fold over and close easier. So no biggie, we can always take off. Harder to put back on, no. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna repaint. Okay. should have waited for that to dry more because that has pulled up a little bit. So I might have to reinforce that with a little bit of washi. Okay, so now we fold that up. This goes over, and this goes behind. And I'm still getting a little bubbling. So where is that coming from? Apparently over here. So cut some more off. Okay, and distress again. Yeah, I'm not liking how that is lifting up. Okay, now that's that's totally better. Okay, and of course, I didn't forget, there has to be some paper on the back. But I thought, instead of having this, why not have a little contrast? So, I've already inked that. And we're going to glue this down. I just followed the folds of the box. And I just thought, hmm, it's always kind of fun to do a little flippy thingy. And we'll see if it works out. If it doesn't, oh well. At least we tried. Right? Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So, this is 
the part that folds up. Yep, and I did ooze a little glue over that edge. Got to be careful. So, I can put something in here. Yeah, sure I can. Yep, there we go. So that's a little pocket in there. And then that comes up and flips down. And I could put some writing paper there. Or you could even write right over it the way it is. Then this, I've got to work on getting it, the paper to fold without cracking. Then this comes over like so. And I was thinking this could be a cute little tuck. So I need to, eh, eh, there we go. Looks like I, oh, it's moving. The paper is moving is what's happening. Okay, so I need to glue that. There and there. And I think that I'm probably going to have to clamp. It's a pretty tight. I don't think it's going to stay unless I, oh, unless I clamp it. So let's see what I have here that I can use. There's that. And there's that. And it looks like I might have some trimming to do there, which is no biggie. So then that will come over like so. This will go behind. Now... There's a couple of things I could do with this. I could, instead of flipping that again, like so, I was thinking that could make for the way that you attach it to the page. So, you glue this, this just this part to the page, and then... It'll sit like this, but then you can open it up this way, and then this way, and then this way. So that's what I was thinking. What do you think? I hope it's a winner. Okay, so keeping that in mind... I think I want something here to decorate a little bit, but we don't want it sticking in there, do we? If it's too bulky, it's not going to work. And I thought this could be a nice little pull for whatever we put in that pocket. So, I did find these, which look to me like they totally match these papers, you know? So, I thought I could do something like that there, which I think is pretty cool. Or, Something like that, or like that, so you don't totally lose that flower that was there. Hmm. And then, this is the good life, could go right there, or... Butterfly, but then it's partially hidden. 
And there's this butterfly. I think I have a third one. Then there's this butterfly, which would look kind of cute hanging out. And then you put a card in there. I don't know. Or do I just want to put... Uh, you can't see the quilt with that all the way. So we'll say no to that. Oh, here's another flower. Maybe I just put that up there. It just all blends in too much are my thoughts. So if it's going to blend, I might as well put... can't get it under there my fingers. Might as well put that as what I'm thinking. That seems to stick out a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'll use that there for sure. So let me distress that up a little bit. Well, I hope you've had a chance to do some art today and find some joy for sure. Just with the sun shining, it feels so good. Just does my heart well. Okay, so... First things first, yep, we want to glue that down. It really, this needs time to, um, the glue time to dry before I do too much in terms of the folding and bending and oops wait I gotta get this under there before it uh, before it sticks down and I can't <laughs> there how's that okay so we have that now Okay, and I could have put something else behind it, but I think it's fine. Now, I could put that there. Nah, not feeling it. I don't think I want to put a lot there that's going to interfere with whatever goes in and out, to be honest kind of feel like that works the best there, so I'm just going to distress that. I believe I got these little stamps from Nikki Adigan from Musings by Nikki. And the papers were just things I had in my Dash. I'm trying to use up. Okay, that just I felt like just adds a little something something there. Okay. So and I have this tag, remember. And, shoo, look at all the things from that, from this little thing. It's all falling apart and leaving goobers everywhere. So, I'm going to hang on to that for when I make a tag to go inside here. And I'll show you that when I get that done. But what I'm thinking is, that will glue down to the page like so. So I can stuff a little something in there. 
and I can stuff this in here behind it, right? And I think that'll look cute. Now, my thoughts are I am probably going to need something to keep that shut. Because you see, it is cardboard and it, it's popping up. So, I don't know whether I want to put a little tie around it or if I just want to use one of those little Tim Holtz reminds me of an arrow. It has a brad at one end so that it can spin and the little arrow would spin over and shut it. And that could even go over here because it would keep that side down which would keep everything down I think. I don't know. I'm going to think about that but I think I've done pretty good in terms of making the things I needed to make. So I'm going to leave that for right now. So we have our pocket that I'll have a tuck here. I could tuck something in here until this opens. Then I'm going to be able to tuck inside here. And then be able to write here and here. I want to put some washi on here, but I have to hunt. And I don't want you to have to waste time watching me hunt. Okay, then this will open out like so, so I could have something tucked in there. Okay, and then I have this whole back that could either be decorated or uh, put some paper on for journaling. So once this is dry, I think I'll think about that, and then I will show it to you in my next video. But I don't want to waste any more of your valuable time. So there's that with this here. I have the belly band that goes across the page like so. A tall belly band that you can also put something in between here as well as behind it. This one is the same way. You tuck something behind here and then under here. Then I have this little pocket with this journaling tag. Then I have, sorry, last but not least, This little pocket with this journaling tag and then the little flowers show through. This has a pocket back here. Now I don't know what I did with whatever I put in there. I'm not seeing it, but it's here somewhere. Okay, so those are my three pockets, three tags, and three belly bands made out of packaging for our altered book. And in my next video, I'll show you the totally finished flippy floppy pocket thingy. And I will also show you how I'm using at least one pocket and one tag uh, in my altered book. Or a belly band, not sure. Kind of still planning that next page in the altered book. So, Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, get out there and create something. Make some art. Find your joy. Stay safe and stay healthy. And until next time, bye-bye.